The donuts are so yummy. Hey, what's up, Improvement Warrior? Jason Yun, back with you again in the kitchen. We're making another healthy keto, low carb, high fat treat. So we're making a keto donut. All right. So this recipe comes from Ruled Me. And uh, if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Check the links down below to get stronger. But the ingredients you're going to need for this keto donut is for the actual donut part, you are going to need almond flour or another approved keto flour, coconut flour. Um, you will need one cup of that. You will need psyllium husk staple in our uh, morning routine. Uh, one tablespoon of that. You'll need baking powder, aluminum free. One tablespoon. You will need two eggs. Okay. Vanilla extract. One teaspoon erythritol. You also need that for the other uh, the topping. So erythritol you will need one half cup. And then you will need almond milk one quarter cup and then you will also need softened butter two tablespoons okay and that is yep that is it for that first step with that is going to heat your preheat your oven to 351 degrees and then the first step is grease your donut pan so you will need a donut pan and we're just going to use a little bit of olive oil in each. Don't use those uh, spray things because usually they have uh, an extra added bad ingredient. So stay away from that. Use whole ingredients. All right, and then we'll show you the next step. First step, you can do this with either a mixer or a just a bowl and a hand mixer. But the first step from there is you're going to add the powdered sugar and then cream that, uh, cream the better butter in with that. Then once that forms, then the eggs are going in. And then I will continue to show you the next steps with the next ingredients that you drop in. Next comes in the milk and the vanilla. So pretty much all the wet ingredients are going in. Oops. Oh, help you. Stop. Move. Mm, yummy. We're gonna pour in the oh, donuts. The donuts are so yummy. They're good? Uh -huh. Okay. Alright. So we got the donut batter all in there. Then you're at the preheated oven, 351 degrees. You're going to cook it 20 minutes. While that's cooking, we'll make the topping. Alright. So four tablespoons of the chocolate. Uh, we got Baker's chocolate, 100%. Then we got three tablespoons of butter, and you'll need two more tablespoons of erythritol, and one third cup of walnuts. Actually, you'll need three tablespoons of erythritol. And if you want some extra garnish, you can do like unsweetened cocoa, coconut. All right, but we'll get to doing this. So you're just gonna melt the chocolate and the butter. Ruled me had it putting it in the microwave. Uh, never do that. Should never be using the microwave. So here's our microwave. We have lived here four months now. It's never been turned on. It's actually being guarded by R2-D2. He makes sure it never gets turned on. We actually have the power turned off on it. Microwave emits some of the worst EMF in the world, so 
get it out of your life. It destroys your food, destroys your health. So it's kind of like your phone. Your phone is a handheld microwave device. So once this is melted, then we're going to mix in the powder stuff. We're going to mix in the erythritol. nuts. you got to shred the nuts. So one third cup of the uh, walnuts. So just a couple more chunks to melt, and then we'll add the erythritol and the walnuts in there. And then we'll turn this down to a bare simmer. Ooh. So we're also scraping off the last remnants of the donut batter in here. So that should give it some extra flavor. All right, so there they are. A little baked over, no hole. So I'll just create the hole once it cools down a little bit and then we'll add the topping and then uh, we'll let it cool down here. But uh, taste test will be tomorrow because I told my daughter they need to cool for the night because it is 8.53 and bedtime for her is 9. Bedtime for me is 10.45 and you're supposed to allow at least three hours up to four hours. If you have a metabolic disease, mitochondrial disease, <clears throat> then four hours is the absolute minimum to heal that. Okay, So eating within your circadian biology is the number one thing for your health. So when you eat is more important than what you eat. Okay, So I always have a, a rule when it's light out, kitchen's open. Dark out, kitchen is closed. Okay, follow your circadian biology. So I've got a uh, 13 pillars of health webinar. You can watch that, I'll link it up down below. But number one, circadian biology. Respect it, follow it, connect with nature, and you will reset it, and you will be as healthy as you have ever been in your life. All right, so we'll let this cool. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so there they are, all topped up and <clears throat> ready to go in the fridge to cool everything down. And we'll give it a taste test tomorrow morning. Yum. Yum? <laughs> How yummy? Good. Very good. Better than a regular donut? Mm -hmm. Oh. So it is time for my taste test of the nut cake chocolate donut. So here we go. Mm. That's good. Yes, indeed. Very good. So yes, you get two very distinct layers. So the top part, chocolate, that's a little hard, and then they got the very soft. But it's once you get them blended together, it just is like heaven. So I give this a nine point six. Very very good recipe. Give it a go. My first. Uh, donut experiment did not work out as well, but this is a lot better. So I'll have the macro <coughs> I'll have the macros up for you here pretty soon. So it's a little different than uh, ruled me because I didn't add a couple ingredients, but we'll put that there. And uh, don't forget check out the links down below. Any questions? Ask them down below. 
and don't forget to subscribe. Lots more videos coming for you. And if you haven't noticed, this this channel is changing, okay? Because it's not just about food and exercise. There's a lot more things that affect your health. So check it out down below, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement.